there's no evidence of evolution from one species to another. There is microevolution within a species, but not going from one species to another. Where did you study science? Well, see that's the point. Scientists are claiming they are the only ones who can speak on this issue. When people go to the Museum of Natural History and look for evidence for evolution from one species to another all they find are drawings, illustrations. The evidence is rather substantial you know, it's not just fossils. If you look at the DNA of all animals and all plants what you find is a beautifully arranged hierarchy. You find that our DNA is close to chimpanzees. It is a family tree. But where is the evidence? Well it's in the fucking DNA I just fucking got done telling you that it was in the goddamn DNA. Again, where is the material evidence for one species going to another? Well, we obviously have a different conception of what evidence actually is. Scientists accept that as evidence. It is overwhelming massive evidence. Is it that your hostility towards evolution, which, by the way, is not shared by bishops or archbishops, your hostility towards evolution perhaps stems from something emotional? Hot and hot and hot and hot. If there was so much evidence behind evolution then those who support it would not have to be reduced to a homonym attacks to those who say show us the evidence. Show us the evidence. Those who favor evolution can't show us the evidence we are looking for. I'm sorry but we can show you the evidence. All you need to do is read an elementary textbook of biology, it's all there. Look at the massive evidence there is. I can't help but feel there is some sort of hidden agenda. The evolutionists are still lacking the science to back it up. There's no evidence of evolution from one species to another species. If that occurred then surely, whether it's going from birds to mammals, or even beyond that, surely there would be at least one evidence. There is a massive amount of evidence. I'm sorry but you people keep repeating that like a kind of mantra, because you just listen to each other. If only you would open your eyes and look. Show me. Show me the bones. Show me the carcass. Show me the evidence. Show me the in-between stage of one species to another. Almost every fucking fossil we find is an intermediate between something and something else. If that were the case then the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History would be filled with these examples but instead they are not. There is a massive amount of intermediates in human fossils. We've got various species of Australopithecus for example. And some of those Australopithecus are intermediates between others and ourselves. Then we've got Homo habilis, Homo erectus. These are intermediates between Australopithecus and Homo sapiens. Why don't you see those as intermediates? Evolutionists bear the burden of presenting the evidence to those of us who are not scientists to see. And if evolutionists had the actual evidence it would be displayed in museums not just on illustrations. I just told you about Australopithecus, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, and Homo sapiens. That's a beautiful series of intermediates. You're still lacking the material evidence. The material evidence is there. Go to the museum and look at it. So what I go back to again is let's look at what evolution and Darwinism has spawned. Let's look at the philosophies that have come out of it that have been so horrific to our world. The best societies in the world are the ones that have a great respect for human beings. DNA is evidence that each human was created individually. DNA shows that each human being evolved individually. Of course there are individual differences between human beings, genetic differences, otherwise natural selection couldn't have happened. Now I presented you, and I don't have them here obviously, but you can go to any museum and see Australopithecus, Homo habilis, Homo erectus. Why do you fucking keep saying show me the evidence, when I've already done so? Go to the museum and look. I have gone to the museums and so have so many of us who still aren't convinced, and I think that this effort, this rather aggressive effort to try to talk over us and censor us seems to come out of a frustration that so many people still don't believe in evolution. I fucking confess to being frustrated. It is not about suppression, it's about the fact that I have told you about four or five fossils. Hi ha ha here. And you simply seem to be ignoring what I'm saying. Why don't you go and look at those fossils? If they were in the museums, 
which I've been to many times I would look at them objectively. But what I go back to is the philosophy of evolution has led to ideologies that have been so destructive to the human race. Those in favor of euthanasia, those in favor of infanticide. But wouldn't it be a good idea, instead of pointing to misperceptions of evolution, which have been hideously misused politically, if you actually tried to understand evolution then you might be in a better position to counteract these horrible misunderstandings. I think your frustration stems from the fact that many of us who have seen your information still don't buy into your ideology. Have you seen Homo erectus? Have you seen Homo habilis? Have you seen Australopithecus? What you've seen is that, in the museums and in the textbooks that whenever they claim to have shown evolution from one species to another it relies on illustrations and drawings, not any material evidence. No it does not. You might have to go to the Nairobi Museum to see the original fossils, but you can see perfect casts of those exact fossils in any major museum. Let me ask you why are you so aggressive? Why is it so important that everyone believe what you believe? I'm not talking about beliefs. I'm talking about facts. I told you about certain fossils. Every time I tell you about them, you evade the question and turn to something else. Again I say, you can't name a few of those, but they still don't show. They don't prove evolution from slime to the intricate human body. Again, there is not evidence. I happened to pick hominid fossils, because I thought you would be most interested in that. You can find similar fossils for any vertebrate group. I guess I go back to why is it so important to you that everyone believe in evolution? As a scientist, I'm concerned that children in American schools and elsewhere should be exposed to the evidence, and allowed to make up their mind about the evidence. I don't think here should be as much dissension between our camps. We respect evolutionists for their beliefs, what we hope is that there would be as much respect on the evolutionist side toward us so that we can have a dialogue. I do not want to be respected for my beliefs I want you to respect the facts. I want you to look at the facts. Don't respect me, I don't want respect. I want you to go to museums and look at the facts and don't believe simply what you have been told, that there is no evidence, just go look at the evidence. Hot hot the hee ha 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 ha. It's not funny. I mean really, I've told you about hominid fossils, you can go and look at the evolution of the horse, you can look at the early mammals, you can go and look at the evolution of fish, you can look at the transition from fish to amphibians and reptiles, any of those things you will find in any good museum. Open your eyes, and look at the facts. Can you point to any scientific evidence that favors creationism? As you pointed out, DNA. I think DNA helps to show that each one of us are individuals. Yes, but they have to be individuals for natural selection to have worked. Uh, H-H-H-H-I. Don't think that's the case. Well, I'm sorry, but it is. Each one of us are distinct. No two of us are exactly alike. That helps to show that there is some intervention at the point of each person's creation. Do you even understand what evolution is? It is about individual variation being selected. There has to be individual variation or evolution would not have worked. Do you actually know what natural selection is? Let me tell you what it is. There is individual variation. Everyone apart from monozygotic twins is different from every other individual. That is absolutely fundamental to evolution. What happens is among that variety of individuals, some happen to survive better than others, some reproduce better than others. You could not have evolution, unless there was individual variation. You cannot keep thinking that, because there is individual variation, that that is somehow evidence against evolution, it is evidence for revolution. I want you to look at the facts a bit more, they are fascinating, read a book. I find that a bit demeaning to claim that we don't read or that we don't know what evolution is. You said there were no intermediates in evolution, and I told you about five. If those were valid there would be tons of evidence because there are so many different species that there ought to be a ton, even let's say for 1% of the macroevolution that's taken place. But there is not even 1%. There is a massive amount of evidence. You just need to go into the books, and go into the museums, and look at it. It's there. I don't believe that it's there, I'm telling you that it's there. When I asked you about evidence, you said there are no fossil intermediates, 
and then when I told you about fossil intermediates, you changed the subject. The evidence is there, I keep telling you about it. There is evidence of fish coming out of the water transitioning to living on land. It's beautiful evidence it's elegant, there are lovely fossils. Go to Philadelphia, and have a look at the wonderful fossil they have there, I'm sure they have replicas in the Smithsonian here. The evidence for the transition from the reptilian jaw and the mammalian jaw, the reptilian jaw has several bones, the mammalian jaw has only one bone and the other bones, that were in the reptile have now moved into the inner ear. That is a beautiful transition. So what is your cause in life? I would think that if your cause was to convince others that evolution was correct, then you would be devoting yourself to finding this information and making it readily available. What I find is you're spending a lot of time arguing with me, trying to convince me instead of showing the evidence. Was I not fucking just telling you about fish that are intermediate? Go and talk to the people who are looking at the transition from fish to amphibian. Look at the evolution of the horse. Look at the evolution of the elephant. Evolution of the whale. There are so many beautiful stories. You would be fascinated. You would think that these fossil histories are to the greater glory of God, if only you would go and look at them. I still don't understand why it is so important to you that I believe exactly what you believe. It's not important to me. I'm an educator, I'm a scientist, I'm a university professor, I love it. When people see the beauty of nature, the beauty of evidence, just look at it and appreciate how elegant it is. I'm distressed that someone intelligent as you is refusing to look at the evidence. Realize, you could use the genuine factual evidence to the greater glory of your God, rather than running away from it. We don't believe we are running away from the evidence.